Well, all our hay is in and protected from the weather. We'll show you how we improvise. Stay tuned. So, in the next couple of days, we've got a lot of rain apparently coming in. So, this morning, it's about battening down the hatches. We've got to tie up our tarps here and put a tarp on the roof on the other side at the end of this hay shed. And then get all these tied up so that we protect our hay. Then check our camper, make sure that's all taken care of and close up our horse trailer, the tack room, and then we've got a hundred bales sitting on this trailer. We had it tied down with some steel pipe, but we use that to uh, get our other hay shed fixed up. So we got to do that. And then we've got more hay so stored under this stall here, and we've got to batten down those tarps and everything else too and get everything just ready. It's apparently that hurricane that's been off the west coast of Mexico. Yeah, the moisture is headed this way, so we're just gonna batten down everything and get everything prepared. We've got our dog Dylan out here with us this morning. We're just gonna put a cable tie out so he can run around for a bit out here and just be with us and get some hay moved and get it all tarped down as you can see. It's a little bit exposed, not bad, but because there's uh, apparently a lot of rain coming, we want to really get things settled up. There in the background, you can see our new shed where we had to use some of that drill pipe uh, to help uh, support it. We were going to put on the roof today, the plywood and the corrugated tin that goes on top of that, but with this wind, uh, it makes it a bit too dangerous uh, to be doing that. So today's just a good cleanup day here on the property and uh, getting ready for a storm, which will also prepare us for winter time as well. And there's our pup, Dylan, right there. Good boy, 14 and a half. Hey, Dilly. So as you can see, we got all our hay tarped down for this rain and wind that's supposed to arrive probably Monday night through Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even into Thursday. We got it all battened down, tarps are nice and tight. We got the trailer all tied down. We're not gonna unload that until we need it, which will probably be in the spring. We don't need the flatbed before that, but if we do, we'll just have to unload it. It's 100 bales. We brought over some wood that we had on the property and tied it all down in various ways with bale string. And it's looking pretty good. This is another one of our hay sheds. We've got some hay sticking out, so we had to tarp that, but we got some good tie downs on that as well. So pretty happy with it, what we got done today. We we're going to try and get the roof on our shed over there that we bought last year used from a guy down the street that was moving. But with the wind and everything, it's a little dicey putting up plywood and then corrugated tin when the wind would be blowing the plywood and the tin right into our face if we were to try and put it up. But we'll get that up probably after the storm passes. You never know here whether it's going to be much of a storm or not. They always predict usually more than what it is. And then sometimes it's a lot less than what they predict. So horses are out there eating the last of the scraps of the hay today. We used our tractor quite a bit. And it's been a good day of, of work. We feel like we've done enough. For today, always have to enjoy our time as well. I had to do a little leveling of the ground here. So if we needed to get a trailer or 
vehicle in between the white two horse trailer here and our garden made it more level, be easier to get in there. So it was a good day. Great big logs there to hold everything down. They're beautiful, beautiful orange wood. I don't know what kind that is, but they're heavy and gorgeous color. So thanks for watching. You have a great day. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button if you would down below. And if you have a comment, go ahead and leave that below as well. Or if you have some questions about what we do here, go ahead and leave those and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And if you'd like to be informed of when we put up a new video and you find the channel interesting, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. You have a great day.